welcome dear students in this video lecture we are going to discuss about the preparation strategy for the heat transfer subject for gtu exam winter 2022 that is going to held on the 6th of january 2023 so let's start with the schedule of the exam the exam schedule is of 6th january 2023 the time is 10:30 to 1 pm and that is of 70 marks now as we know that the syllabus is consist of five different chapters the first unit is a conduction in that uh, there is a three subtopics are given the conduction heat transfer from the extended surfaces and the transient heat conductions then the second unit is a convection third unit is a radiation and fourth one is a heat exchanger the fifth one is a two phase heat transfer so students if you go in a syllabus and if you refer the specification table then here it is given that the r means remembrance level is of only 10 percent understanding is of 20 percent and the application level is of 60 percent and analyze is of 10 it means the question paper of the subjects are consist the more number of numerical than the average one it means if you refer the three gtu latest question paper of this syllabus then it consists near about 30 marks of numerical so which is in line with this specification table now we are going to discuss about how to select the chapter here i have written the three different parameters basis on which you have to select the chapter so first one is previous gtu paper weightage second is students perception and third one is based on the preparations and the time available so students if you are preparing at a last moment then you do not have amount of uh, enough amount of time then you must have to select the chapter according to the difficulty level and the previous gtu paper and if you prepare well in advance throughout the semester then you can be take your time to prepare for the whole content I have divided this syllabus unit into three category basis on the passing marks average mark and for excellent performance so students first category is of passing marks if you only preparing for the 23 marks then you need to go with this four topic here the first topic is unit 4 that is heat exchanger and theory in that you have to go with the derivations of LMTD and NTU for parallel and counter flow students whenever we are going with the selected content then we do not have to take any kind of the optional way in that content so here the unit 4 means a heat exchanger the whole theory that consists of LMTD and NTU for parallel and counter as well as fouling factor the classifications of heat exchanger and the temperature distribution diagram for parallel counter as well as condenser and evaporator so this much amount of theory you need to prepare from a unit number four then you also need to prepare the numerical of unit four basis on the lmtd and ntu method because if you see the percentage wise weightage of this course outcome then definitely this unit is consist of 14 marks then the third one after preparations of the unit four numerical and theory you have to focus on the heat transfer by radiation that is unit 3 and here you have to prepare only the theory and which is consist of basics law that is the Kirchhoff's law, Wang's displacement law and the definitions of various terms like absorbivity, monochromatic MEC power, MECVT, reflectivity, transmittivity like that and fourth one is a theory and numerical of unsteady state means a transient heat conductions that is called as a lump parameter analysis uh, you need to prepare the derivations of temperature distributions in lump parameter analysis as well as the numerical basis on the lump parameter analysis so this much amount of content you need to prepare for getting a passing marks now if you are preparing for the average score then you need to additionally you have to prepare this content given in this slide the first one is a numerical of a heat transfer by radiation it means a basic law that you need to find out the lambda max uh, MEC power monochromatic MEC power 
and there is a heat exchange between the surfaces using the shape factor so this two type of numerical you need to prepare in if you preparing for average score then second one is a theory and numerical based on the conductions that is the general heat conduction equation for the cartesian coordinate system and cylindrical geometry and numerical based on the composite wall and the cylindrical wall you also need to prepare these two different concepts one is a contact thermal resistance and the second one is critical thickness of insulation and then you have to come with a convection in convection you need to go with a dimensionless numbers all seven number the definition of all seven numbers and its physical significant as well as you also need to prepare the dimension analysis using which you can be able to derive the relationship between the nusselt and prandtl and grassoff for free convections and same way the relationship between nusselt reynolds and prandtl for force convections and few, uh, fourth one that is a numerical based on the correlations from the unit 3 that is a convection then uh fifth one is a theory of two phase heat transfer that is only the boiling curve of water so this much amount of content you need to prepare for getting the average score and if you preparing for the excellent work then you have to go with a numerical and theory of fin the theory of convection that is hydrodynamic boundary layers then von karman's that concept you need to prepare for excellent performance and numerical based on the hydrodynamic and thermal boundary layers as well as the theory of two phase heat transfer that is the difference between the condensations that is drop wise and film wise and last uh, is a numerical from the unit 5 that is a two phase heat transfer so that much amount of content you need to prepare for the excellent performance thank you students thank you for watching this video thank you